everyone, it's Samantha and welcome back to another planner video. Today I want to talk about my updated menu plan. Recently I made my own stickers using some markers and some sticker paper with my Silhouette Cameo and I've absolutely loved it so I've started incorporating more color and more stickers into my planning routine. So I wanted to cover how I'm using it for meal planning today. So here is my plum paper planner. I've done lots of videos on this. I have them linked down below and I have a playlist of all my videos so far. You can check out any of those videos on that playlist down there. So for meal planning what I do is I have a section in my family planner here. I'm going to flip to last week. I'm filming this early so it's a, it's going to be January. So here is last week and I have a family planner from Plum Paper Planner and each of my sections are customized. So this last one here is meals. So I put my dinner menu down in this last box here and what I've been doing is I've just been writing it in. So that was my old way of doing it. Just writing it in, keeping it super simple. I also have a menu plan written on the fridge. My husband does not look into my planner. He wouldn't even know <laughs> what to look for even if he was trying to look into my planner. So I do have this list on the fridge. This is just a Monday through Sunday day of the week type of list from the dollar spot at Target. It just has a magnet on it so I just have this stuck on the side of the fridge for my husband to see what we're having for dinner and it gets rid of all those what's for dinner questions um, that come up sometimes. So this is just how he can keep track of what we're having for dinner. If he's curious he can just look on the fridge and also when I'm going to cook I can look on the fridge too easily. I don't have to go get to my planner and open the page or anything. It's just right there in plain sight, easy to see. So I do have that kind of duplication step, but I find that it makes it a lot easier for me to have them both places. It's having it in my planner reminds me to lay out whatever I need to lay out or prep whatever I need to prep. And then having it on the fridge is super easy for me to refer back to and for my husband to refer back to. So I find it's beneficial to have it written both places just for keeping track. So, like I said, I got into the stickers, so I made this next week very jazzed up. And I got a little excited about it because my stickers are removable. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. We'll skip to that side in a second. So here's my meal section. It's just always at the bottom of my planner. And these are removable stickers. So what I was thinking is I could have some sort of laminated page in the back of my book and have these stuck to that and then I can pull off the stickers that I want to stick down here and that way I just have like a running list of all of my meals that I currently like to make and then I can just make new ones for whatever new meals I'm coming up with. I do try to incorporate new recipes so I'd have to make some new label stickers here and there but overall I you know, use the same kind of meals and like pasta is not a very specific label. So I just make whatever pasta I feel like making that week or whatever vegetables or sauce I feel like making. So I can, you know, use that sticker from week to week whenever I decide to make pasta and just keep using it over and over again. So I really like that not only is it pretty, it looks nice, um, it grabs my attention, it adds color to my planner, but it's also extra functional because I can look at all the other stickers that I have and that helps me meal plan a little bit. So that's my intention is to have some sort of laminated sheet or something in the back where I can stick these two once the week is up and then just move from week to week. The other thing I did was I used this little section here. I do not work on my channels or anything on the weekend. I generally don't have videos over the weekends. So I took these boxes here that are for my YouTube channels. This column's for my crafty channel. This column's for my uh, family channel, this channel. And then this column is for editing and any kind of worky type of stuff I need to do for my blogs or for my channels. So the weekend section here is basically useless. It's usually blank. I thought I might try to use that to my advantage. So what I did for this first week is I have a piece of washi tape that says lunches and then a piece of washi tape that says snacks and baking. I kind of like to know what I have in the house for lunches. Sometimes I make a big pot of soup. Sometimes I have soup in the freezer I want to use up. Uh, I also get some sandwich supplies here and there. Just whatever I have planned out for lunches for me this week or for the weekends, I just put it in this little section here. So 
I made a big pot of French onion soup and I also got sandwich stuff. Those are gonna be my main lunch options for this whole week. So I can easily look back and see what I planned for lunch and use up what we've got. I don't like wasting food. So this is just a good little reminder for me and I'm filming this as of being 38 weeks pregnant and my pregnancy brain is just through the roof right now. So I do forget things. And if I don't have things written down, it's easy for me to wonder what I'm supposed to have for lunch and just, you know, go through the fridge and eat something random. Um, and then stuff goes bad that way, you know? So I thought it would be nice to just have a little section to write in the lunches. And sometimes on the weekends, I plan special lunches for us to have since my husband's home too. So I would incorporate that as well in this section. And my husband takes his lunch to work, so he'll usually have, if we have leftovers, he'll usually take that. And if not, he'll have a sandwich with all his lunch stuff. So this next section is for snacks and baking. And for this week, I made it bigger because there was Super Bowl Sunday, so we had extra snacks. Usually I only try to bake or make one, maybe two snacks a week. I keep it super simple, so I definitely don't need a huge section like this moving forward. This was just something because I was really excited about my new stickers and Super Bowl Sunday met more snacks. So this section was definitely way bigger than it needs to be. So for this next week, what I did was I consolidated. I just made one little strip of washi tape. I'll list the lunches in one box and then the snacks in one box. These two boxes still probably won't get used for anything right now, but I thought this was a lot more consolidated. I'll just write them in. But like I said, I was just excited to use my stickers this time, but I still plan on using my cute little circles for the meals down here at the bottom of my planner. And so far to keep track of this, I have all my little colored stickers in this little folder. So this is just the back of my plum paper planner. It has a little folder section. I cut down my sheets so I have all my little stickers here. And some of them are dewdrop shapes. I use those for something else, which I'll cover in a different video. And then I have some circles. So these ones are circle and dewdrop sheets. So I used those three quarter of an inch circles and wrote in some meals. So I have those ones ready to go for other meals. They're just regular meals that we make throughout the week. And then I have another sheet here that I cut down. And these are the ones I'm gonna use for my meals moving forward. So I can write out any of the typical meals that I have through the week, and maybe I can stick them back on here. I'm not sure how well they're gonna stick back into those circle spots, but I'm going to try that at first and just see if I can have these two pages here. I might have to put them in some sort of page protector so that they don't come off and stick to the next sheets that are laying around them. But I really like going ahead and making the sheets so I have plenty of little circles to work with moving forward for my meal plan. So it's just a cute little way to make it a little more exciting because you know, Cooking and meal planning is only so exciting, but when you throw in some extra color, that just adds a little more excitement to it. And it makes your planner look a little bit pretty. I found that I like using stickers when they're functional, like these, like the circle stickers. So going back to this week, I plan on peeling these off at the end of the week and then trying to stick them back to that page. If they don't stick back to that page, I'll get some sort of laminated page or plastic page to stick them to, to hopefully be able to keep them and reuse them over and over again, like I said in the beginning. So that is it for today. I just wanted to show you guys this quick little cute meal planning idea. I hope it gives you some ideas for meal planning and making things a little exciting for yourself. And that is it for today. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.